how to file your self-assessment through FreeAgent. In this video, I'm going to show you how to file your self-assessment tax return directly to HMRC through FreeAgent. Most sole traders and limited company directors can do this. Before you get started, you need to bring your accounts up to date for the accounting period that you're going to report on your self-assessment tax return. To do this, you need to upload and explain all your bank transactions in FreeAgent, record all your invoices and link your paid invoices to the relevant incoming bank transactions, and record and categorise all of your out-of-pocket expenses. You will also need to have registered for self-assessment with HMRC and you should have your Government Gateway ID and password to hand. When you've got your bookkeeping data in FreeAgent up to date and you're ready to start filing, navigate to Taxes from the Overview screen and select Self-Assessment from the drop-down menu. Make sure that your name is displayed in the Show drop-down menu and then select the appropriate tax year from the list. This should be the tax year that you want to file your tax return for, not the current tax year. FreeAgent will then take you straight to the main return page of the self-assessment form. You can navigate between the different pages of the form by using the menu on the right-hand side of the page. Limited company directors will see the main return, employment and tax adjustment pages. Sole traders will see all of these plus the self-employment page. FreeAgent will automatically populate some of the information on each page of your self-assessment, based on your completed bookkeeping data. For sole traders, FreeAgent automatically completes up to 90% of the self-employment form. You'll need to enter the rest of the information yourself, but we've provided plenty of information to help you with this. There's a link at the top of each page to the relevant article in our knowledge base. On each page of the self-assessment form, select Yes next to each section that applies to you and complete all the relevant information. If you're in any doubt about what to enter on any part of the form, you should speak to your accountant. If a section doesn't apply to you, just select No. FreeAgent will highlight how many questions you've not answered yet and which sections are incomplete, so you can see at a glance what you still need to enter. As you work through each page, FreeAgent calculates your liability for self-assessment based on the information you provide. You'll see that the figure updates as you complete the form. If you need to sign out a FreeAgent at any time, all the information you've entered will be saved automatically. Once you've completed your self-assessment, we recommend that you take some time to review it with your accountant. It's easy to make any changes if you need to. When you're confident that all the information you've entered is correct and you're ready to file, select Prepare to file online at the top of any of the self-assessment pages. FreeAgent will flag whether there are any sections that you still need to complete. You can use the links to jump straight back to these parts of the form and complete them. We recommend that you do one final check of your self-assessment form using the checklist that FreeAgent provides. When you're ready, select File to HMRC. You'll now need to enter your Government Gateway ID and the password that HMRC sent you when you first registered for self-assessment. Your Government Gateway ID will be displayed on any correspondence you've received from HMRC since then. When you're ready, select Submit Self-Assessment. Once you've done this, you'll see that the status of your self-assessment is marked as Pending, while FreeAgent sends and confirms it with HMRC. Once your tax return has been accepted, the status will automatically change to Filed. And that's all you have to do to file your self-assessment tax return directly to HMRC. If you have any questions about how self-assessment works in FreeAgent, please select Help at the bottom right of your screen. For any other questions about your tax return, please speak to your accountant or to HMRC.